Hey, it's David here from Freedom Founders Mastermind Community. I get a question uh, often, and that's, uh, David, what would you tell young doctors who are just coming out of school, who typically have a lot of debt today, student loan debt, how would you tell them to get started in life? What are some things that they should do? What are some things that they shouldn't do? So I'll give you my short list. First thing I would say is, even if someone was going to give you the money, loan you the money, uh, don't go start a new practice, a de novo practice. Uh, that would be very difficult, I think, for most people today. And the reason why is not because you're not smart enough. You've obviously proved that you're intelligent to get through school and boards and licensing exams. But the problem is, is there's a whole other world out there called the business of. Uh, see, healthcare, dentistry, medicine, uh, it's a business today. Way more than it was 10 years ago, 20, 30, certainly 40 years ago. Uh, it's a business. It's it's big business. Um, corporations, hospital corporations, uh, corporate uh, clinics and, and dental service organizations are 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 the influx of what's happening today because because it is a business. And so now we have to do two things well. We've got to be very, very great, astute clinicians to give that great treatment, but we also have to be business owners. Those two don't go hand in hand very well at all. And so first thing I would say is you've got to learn about the business of. As you're increasing your clinical skills and diagnostic uh, capabilities, you've got to learn. What's the fastest track? Well, yes, you can go take CE, and that's very important. But I tell young dentists today is the best thing they could do is go find a mentor, another dentist, a dental practice where there's a respected, um, very highly capable dentist who loves to share and give uh, and has values and philosophy of life and treatment that you aspire to also have. Those have to go hand in hand. And that that dentist has a space available, loves to mentor, and will be happy to take you on. Are you going to have to look a little bit to find that person? Yes, but use your network. They are out there. Trust me. You do that. If you give dedicate two years, at least two years of your life, to be under the mentorship means, means you are working in that practice, but you're doing what that dentist has you do. He or she sets the, the steps of the pathway. Don't focus on the money. Yes, you need to make money. I understand to pay your, your living expenses and, your, and your, your debt, but don't focus on having to make a ton of money to go out and buy the new car or the house or whatever it is that you know you want in your heart. Give a little bit more time. I know you worked hard. I know you worked really hard to get where you are and you want to live a little bit. Give at least two more years. Find the best mentor you can and then decide. You may find a place in that very practice. It may be a place for you to stay. But if not, you'll have the, the groundwork, the, the foundation of knowledge, experience, know what to look for next. Where do you go? What type of practice style? Are you going to go open a, a, a practice at that point? Acquire a practice? What style of practice? Fee for service? Are you going to be more on the business side and look at multiple practice um, opportunities there? It's up to you, but how can you do that when you don't know what you don't know? So first step is I would I would do that. The second thing is, is I would... I would be very careful about taking on any more debt. So again, that's why you wouldn't go buy, buy a practice or do a, acquire a practice. Uh, work on, on paying down debt, uh, the right debt, and there's a whole um, a conversation about that. Um, but, but you need to, to focus on not getting into more debt. Uh, learn to pay as you go for your lifestyle. Yes, when it's time for you to, to start or invest in a practice, yes, you'll, you'll have to take on more debt. But that's a different kind of debt than buying cars or houses. Uh, learn to be happy with what you've got and, and things will take care of themselves if you just follow some initial steps. Debt can be a huge ball and chain uh, for anybody as they go through life. And if you don't get in the habit of not getting into to consumption debt, if you just if you get into the habit of, of putting on credit or loans uh, your lifestyle, it's hard to ever backtrack that. And I know so many dentists who are great dentists and they were very productive in their life, but they never got control of the debt. And they end up working, having to work into their late 60s and their 70s because the debt monster continued to compound and they never got 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 it under control. So that's my advice today. My key key things is is one, find a mentor, be like an apprentice for at least two years under the best mentorship you can find. And second, don't let the debt monster uh, take over your life. You do those those two things, I promise you, your life will be a lot better and move a lot faster. You'll be happier, much more successful. That's it for me today. Remember, always stay focused on your freedom. I'll see you next time.